<laughs> it's me again, filming sideways. I know. I was trying to get it so you can see what I'm doing. So I'm over here, out of the picture. That's good. Check out theothersidevintage.com for links to find out how to buy our paints and our supplies or come into our store in Tallahassee, Florida. So what I did was I took this raw piece of wood and I used my misting bottle and I misted it and then I've added my chalk paint and this, this yellow that I love. It's kind of a mixture of, of kernel mustard and daisy paint. So, and we sell those at the other side vintage in Tallahassee, Florida in the store, or you can order them from our website, theothersidevintage.com, or you can go on eBay and Etsy and find some of our supplies there too that are allowed. So do not let this image offend your eyes. If you're offended easily, you may not want to see this. I ordered this thinking it was paper and I was going to decoupage. Okay. She's intended to be kind of naked. It's psychedelic sixties. It said sixties art. So I thought, cool, it's paper. I'll decoupage it on this piece of recycled wood that I found, but it's not, it's this plasticky material. So I normally would use my Dixie Belle satin to do a glue down for decoupage. So what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to use Mod Podge, which works just as well. The only thing I'm curious about is because this is super old, super old, like been sitting out and trying to shake it up, but there's clumps. And I don't know if it's thick enough. Look, it's like, there's just a big glob in there. It's not really viable. You know what? Let me see. I also have it. That's the gloss. Let me see if this also is Mod Podge. This is the matte finish. Woo! So used to working with things with low VOC that whenever I smell product, it kind of takes me away because I'm so used to not having smells. Yeah, even the, <laughs> the lid of this, all right, is glued down. Wow. Talk about not using your product for a long time. Okay. See what I'm talking about? This is all over me. Woo, but I think I can get it out of there. So excuse the, yeah, things you don't do. You shouldn't go live when you're not sure. But I wanted to be honest and show you that, I don't know if this is gonna work. I am literally pulling the top of that off onto my fingers. And let me tell you, the smell reminds me of, I don't know, art class, but I'm so used to low BFCs, it's not even funny. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start adding some of this. I may just have to pour it out, you guys. There. Can you see that? Normally I wouldn't just pour it out. But it is so thick because it's so old. And I'm working it both sideways and horizontal. Let's hope that it's thick enough to hold this item of art that I ordered that I thought was paper, but turned out to be fabric. Of all the times that I don't care and I would prefer fabric, it wasn't fabric. It's like plasticky printed on. Okay. So there's a glob. There's a glob of that top. All right. Starting to already set up because it is so old. So I'm going to go ahead and position her, my 60s artwork. Yeah, it's actually already holding down, so I don't even think I can reposition her. We'll see. I'm going to pull her this way, trying to get no bubbles, trying to get her a little bit more centered. Okay. Yeah, there's already some bubbles underneath there. Let me get that. Look at that. Wow. Okay. I'm just using my hand. I have a brayer, but of course, when I go live, I don't think ahead, which Tracy from Tracy's Fancy would be like, Zan, what did I tell you? Turn on the do not disturb on your phone, which I didn't do, and get everything you need. Did I do that? No. Okay, she's a tad bit crooked. Okay, so she's holding pretty well. Actually, I'm really shocked. I probably could have used my Dixie Belle. Of course, I got glue on the floor. That's lovely, but I have a, oh yeah, don't do that. <laughs> you guys, are you enjoying this? Here's what I'm gonna say. Don't do what I, I'm doing, do what I say. 
don't pour it out like that. Pour it in a plate. But look at that. Ugh, it went everywhere. Hey, you guys. Hey, Nicole. Hi, Mom. Mom, should I bring it? No, 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 Mom. I'm good. Thank you. That was sweet of you, Mom. No, I think what I'm saying is, yeah, see, it is coagulating, you guys. Is that the word I'm looking for? It's gooping up is the word I like to use, gooping up. Again, this is old Mod Podge. I probably could have gotten away with using my Dixie Belle satin. It's just that it's thinner, so I thought maybe it wouldn't hold this fabric. And I thought, well, I have this Mod Podge that I haven't used in years. It's sitting here in my menagerie of products to use and actually stream real okay what a mess okay luckily this all dries clear I'm gonna... so this is my 1960s goddess girl who's having fun in a field of psychedelic i i want to say um natural plant I don't want to get in trouble, so I'm sorry if this offends anyone. I was looking more for a 1960s goddess, and this is what I got. I wasn't sure what I was getting. All right, so I do notice that some of the glue over here, it's hard to see, and if I move this, it'll fall down. Some of the glue over here is getting on top, the Mod Podge, I call it glue because it's a glorified glue. Um, it's a sealer. It is taking the image off. So whatever this was printed with, see this? Okay, so this is just a piece of board that I found, by the way, on the side of the road. Oh, in my recycling bin at my dumpster, basically. People put stuff that might be useful. It was the backup board of, I don't know. It's called, um, I don't know what it's called. What is it called, you guys? It's called plywood that's about a quarter inch thick. Okay, what I'm doing without my brayer is I'm using my fingers to get these little bubbles out. There's not that many. And surprisingly, this fabric, whatever this, I want to say nylon, is taking it really well. So there we go. Not too many bubbles, even with the brayer. I'm just using my fingers to get some of those out. Now, normally I would just go over this and I have to admit, I'm a little concerned. I don't know if you can see this right there where I got some on top and then I messed around, it pulled some of the color out. So I don't know if they printed this image that they created the artist onto, um, instead of a canvas, like a plasticky type canvas. And because of that, maybe they used an inkjet printer and that's pulling off the paint a little bit there, the color, the ink. So this could still go really, really wrong, but considering it's a recycled board, it's paint that I custom mixed, which was caramel mustard with Daisy of Dixie Belle. And I just used the same brush to apply the paint. I let the paint dry. I don't know, let's see, I painted it right before Jason went to work. Maybe it's been drying an hour. And then I put, you saw, the Mod Podge that's years old. Hey, Nicole, please just, again, don't do what I'm doing. Do what I say. Don't pour, pour the Mod Podge out onto a bowl because otherwise you're going to get all over your fingers. Of course, it's water, you know, resistant, water, whatever. You can clean it with water, but I am making a mess because it's old. I'm so used to using my Dixie Belle satin clear coat and I don't have to pour it out on the plate, and I end up using less that way. I feel like if I pour it out on the plate, um, I use more than I need, and then I end up pouring it back into the thing or trying to not use it. Okay. I am actually terrified to, uh, I'm just getting some more bubbles, even though it's been a few minutes. I'm actually terrified to put the top coat on this. Normally, it would go, if this was paper, I would be already ready to go ahead and clear coat it, that one clear coat. And then what I do is let it dry a couple hours, if not overnight, and then add about three more coats. Because like I said, I have some of this on my hand, and as I'm rubbing, I can see it's taking some of the ink off. So this was printed probably there. 
I think I ordered this off Etsy. I told them what I'm going to be using it for, and that is allowed. It's not copyrighted. She sells these for people to frame and or to make other projects with. So um, I can't remember her name, but I will find out. But like I said, I think it's going to um, pull up. So if I do this and this whole thing just schneers, be prepared. Now I have it on my leg. How, how does one person get so much stuff all over them? Hi. <laughs> All right, so here we go. Let's hope the camera does not fall over. Now I've got glue on my phone. I've got glue everywhere. I'm like a little kid. I actually don't want to pour this out onto here because I know by the way it just reacted and see normally I would just dip my brush in there but it's starting to goop up and my brush is gonna get all icky. All right, here we go. Wipe that off a little, here we go. Ah! I'm so scared that every bit of this ink of this vinyl material, whatever it is, it's gonna come off. So far, okay, okay. Maybe not. Ugh, again, don't do this. Pour it onto a plate or a bowl. Don't dip directly in. I am trying to get a very, very liberal, thick coat. I am probably gonna use all that's left in here Hi, Joey. I'm making a mess, Joey. Look at my, look at that. It's so old that the top kind of exploded and dripped down. So this is Mod Podge. I mean, little kids use this stuff and are less messy than I am. I am a messy painter and creator. Mostly when I'm doing furniture, I'm really messy. Everything in me wants to use my water bottle, um, I'm scared to even touch it because I'm going to get glue. To spray this to like thin it a little bit, but hey, Usherwood! The Usherwoods are in the house. Um, But I have a feeling by adding too much water, again, th this fabric that this is printed on may bleed the ink. So I am doing what I say not to do, dipping my brush directly into the paint, I mean into the Mod Podge. Again, this is the matte. I, I really like the gloss Mod Podge because it really adds a really cool luster. And I may let this dry like overnight and then hit it up with um, either the Mod Podge in, in Glossy, which I have, this one, Gloss Luster, which is all hard as a rock. Like I said, it's so old. I'll just have to add some water and really get it um, thinned out. Or I'll just use my Dixie Belle Clear Coat in Gloss and see if I can't get what I want to happen. So far, I'm not hating this. I'm not loving it because I know how my other prod product works so much better and less smell. This is just that gluey smell. I'm so used to, like I said, working with low VOCs product now that I don't have to, I, I'm not used to having any, any paint like smell or glue smell. All right. Yes, your kids could do this. So maybe they draw you a picture and on, on paper, preferably, and then you take a piece of wood that you found, you paint it so it has an instant border, and then you glue it down and you have their artwork to hang up instead of just on the refrigerator. Now, if you knew me back when, my artwork was a little stick figure that looked like a three-year-old did it and I'm talking about two years ago. So <laughs> you would not want to hang up my artwork. But this way, you have a piece that lasts longer and you could even put, um, I don't know if you can tell up here, I drilled little holes and I'm gonna put a piece of jute wire or what do you call it, yarn, and make a little hippy go dippy uh, holder. Okay, it's lifting up here. So I'm gonna put pressure, I can tell there's an air bubble. Go ahead and use my finger. Press that down, and I notice the ink is running a little bit right there. It's so weird. Just a little bit where that bubble is. Okay, I'm not going to stop doing that. Sometimes when things start to go a little awry, you just want to stop. I am going to pull this off a little bit because there's a clump of what was on the top of that jar. Okay, again, this dries clear, so I'm not too worried. But what I am going to do is since I have, here's what I'm going to do. Now I'm going to thin out my brush because I'm going to, it's sticking to me. So I'm going to go ahead and spray it away from the thing, get some water on here. 
and then I'm going to thin it out. And the reason I'm doing this is because the glue, the Mod Podge material, is on my frame, and I had already painted it yellow all the way around, and this will dry like a real matte. So I'm going to go ahead and take the excess off my brush and put it all the way around the frame so that, or on the wood, so it soaks in so it looks the same as this. Because I don't know, because I haven't used this product in a long time, how it reacts compared to, uh, like I said, my Dixie Belle Clear. So I'm just going to finish off by getting that off my brush and applying the rest of that to the frame. Matter of fact, I don't even know what that. I'm not waiting where the um, picture is. What a mess, you guys. Yeah, that might be too much. I can tell it's really goopy. And that way, it'll all be consistently one product. And it's sealing it, because Mod Podge um, is a glue and a sealer. So I'm going to go ahead and go all the way around, quote, the frame part, the, the part I painted yellow. Yeah, it's weird. The paint or the ink only came out of this one part where it's bubbling up. I'm going to use my fingernail to push that down. It's still trying to lift a little bit. I don't know why. And that's where a little bit of the ink came off right there. But I am going to fix that. Oh, nope, don't touch it. See, the more I do it, the worse it gets. So see here, I wish I could lift this up. I'll show you later. That's turning purple. See, it's bleeding from this one part that's coming up. That is so weird. I don't know what they use. So I'm not going to apply it over here anymore because there's ink coming off that. So, um, yeah, how I'm going to turn off my phone. So here's my messy, this, um, I swear this is, I said two years. I'm trying to see if there's an expiration date, but because it's so old. This has probably been in my storage for six years or more. Now, if I do this, that's never going to come back off again. So I'm not, I'm just going to, um, yeah, I'm going to consider that done. I am going to go rinse out my brush. It's water-based, luckily, and get my paintbrush that I love. My Oval Small by Dixie Belle. And, uh, yeah, save that. I'm going to wash my hands and get the glue off. And I'm going to, oh, I just want to get that one little air bubble out. I keep touching it with my nail, holding it down. Let's see. I'm going to hold it down for another second. Watch my fingernail get attached. And I just painted my nails black, you guys. Usually I have no fingernail polish on because I paint so much that whatever I just painted is the color of my nails. So, okay. I told you, don't do what I'm doing. Do what I say. Don't mess with it. Leave it alone. But here I am messing with it. I'm going to try to fix that after it dries. But see, I keep messing with it. And guess what? It keeps releasing more color. Stop. Don't mess with it as I continue to mess with it. All right. I know that was probably the least fun and boring live you've seen. Um, this is not my artwork. This is a 1960s psychedelic piece of art I ordered and thought it was coming on a paper and it turned up three months after I ordered it, even though it came from California, the artist. I think she printed it on a piece of nylon, like, I don't know how to explain it. Almost like a windbreaker, like a nylon windbreaker. That's what it felt like. It was real thin, but it's definitely plasticky. And I didn't think my Dixie Belle clear coat and satin, which works like a Mod Podge. So Mod Podge is the actual <clears throat> name brand. Now people sometimes say decoupage, but they say Mod Podge because they're so used to using Mod Podge. It's like Kleenex. I need a Kleenex, which you get puffs. So Mod Podge is the name brand. Uh, I use my Dixie Belle clear coat and satin because it works as a glue or a glue and a sealer and I already have that but this was so different being not paper and a little bit different medium I decided just to go live and see what happens so again there's that bubble I want to do it but that is wearing off so if she used the artist that sent it to me an inkjet printer to print on this which I can understand people do that now you can even print on canvas off your, your inkjet printers at home she didn't use a laser printer. She used an inkjet, I believe. And that's why it's coming off a little bit. So, like I said, leave it alone, which isn't what I just did. I kept messing with it. And I, again, oh, I just want to fix that little bubble. But leave it alone. It'll let it dry. And I say overnight, it, we'll see if it's dry in a couple hours. Um, hopefully, Petey the cat will not jump up here because he likes to jump up on everything I'm working on to see how it's going. And he gets his paw prints in it. Hey Cheryl, how are you? So I just decoupaged this down. That's what it's called, but I use Mod Podge. So Mod Podge 
decoupage. You can also use the Dixie Belle paint in clear satin. That works as your glue and your sealer. And I'll show you this. You probably all have seen this. This is upside down. I'm trying to get my glue in my hands. Home sweet home. Someone actually uh, cross stitched this or stitched this and it came with just a wood frame. I showed this on another live. The back is just mask and tape. They actually did it on material and framed it, but they just mask and tape. But it was so cute. I decided just to paint it with the same. See how the yellow is a little bit different, but I custom blended two colors of daisy, a daisy and kernel mustard and got this yellow. And I'm going to, I've just stressed this a little bit, but I haven't sealed it yet. So I like, I tend to do things all one color at a time. So like I'm working on the yellow paint, so I may as well have the custom. Yeah, I got a little bit of glue on that, didn't I? Ooh, stop touching stuff. Anyways, um, it comes off because it's water-based. So since I already have that custom blend made, I have so much in a jar. I use it. I saw some of the yellows in this and thought yellow. See, normally I would go with a pink or a blue because I'm a more of a blue person, but may as well use the custom and then I'll have that yellow, that yellow. And I also painted some stuff that went to the store today. Jason took up there. It was all cured and dried and ready to go. So there's a bunch of stuff up there. So, you know, we'll have a little display with a bunch of yellow stuff together. And sometimes people like to buy more than one because the colors match. I, you know, when you were a little kid and you pulled the glue, you put the, you know, the little Elmer's glue on your hand, you started pulling it off. That's what's happening. See this? That is all that excess that just glooped up and glopped up. Hey, Sandy. All right, you guys, um, you can push replay if you want to see the mess that I made. Um, let's hope that I can resurrect this. I will. It's water-based. And, um, yeah. So, hey, Mod Podge, if you're watching, made by Plaid, this is over six years old easily out in my hot storage. And uh, it still worked. Now, the, the gloss did not. Let me see if I can open this. Can you guys even see this without me pouring out? Can you see that big? I guess you can see the liquid. I'm scared. There's a big clump in there. It's one big clump. Also six years old. But anyways, and it does have a scent to it. So again, I prefer my low VOCs for my Dixie Bell. So look at that. I pulled that off my fingers. Like, I'm like a little kid. Making these is fun, you guys. Thanks for the hearts. All right, I'm going to let you go. Hopefully you can show me what you're doing on a Saturday. Tell me what you're working on. Hopefully you're out and about and having some fun outdoors. And again, don't touch this because it's going to bubble up and we can fix it later. And I still want to touch it. So leave it be. I can already tell it's drying pretty well. I'm looking at the sheen from across. Um, since Let's see if I can do this well. If the phone drops, just ignore me. So I'm the light is coming in from the window there um, to the east. And so I can watch it by going like this and looking at the glare. And it's drying pretty well. It's drying pretty evenly. Um, I see a, a couple bubbles, meaning underneath the fabric, it's bubbling up a little bit, even though I used my fingers, I didn't have my brayer with me, but, um, so that medium is working pretty well. It's cloudy right now because it's drying and when it's done drying completely, it'll be completely clear. So I know it looks cloudy right now, but I'm glad you came and watched this process with me. Yes, this is bleeding. So we'll see what happens there. Um, I'm also curious to see what happens if I, and once it's dry, I'm going to put probably three to four more coats on it, make it real thick. Um, but I mean, with dry time, about an hour or two between each of those after letting it dry the first overnight or at least five or six hours. I, like I said, I do see some bubbling up. So a brayer would have helped with that. So have a little brayer. Um, you can also use a credit card. If you have a credit card, I mean, you're going to clear it off. You can take the credit card and go across and kind of use that like a brayer. So, hey, mom, love you too. Um, so if you don't have a brayer, use a credit card or, you know, a gift card that maybe is expired. Save it, and that way you can use that as a brayer. Always have it, and you can always use what you have around. So, all right, you guys. Um, yeah, I feel like a little kid in art class. Isn't art fun? <laughs> All right, check out theothersideventures.com. Please share us on Facebook, Instagram. Um, any shout outs you do, tag us at theothersideventures.com. On Twitter, we're vi Vintage and Tally. They didn't have the other side available, but we're not on Twitter that much. We're mostly on Instagram and Facebook. So thank you so much. And yeah, time to go clean up this mess like a little kid. Bye, you guys.